it's mini girl with hobbyhottips.com and today I'm gonna show you how to air blast your bases so put your goggles on and let's get started first I'm going to paint the entire base a dark brown then I'm going to place my miniature on the base to see exactly where I want it and once I got that figured out where I'm gonna pin him I'm going to take my pen and just mark on the poster tack itself the front of the base. That way I always know where front is. I'm going to glue down with some white glue, just a few little rocks, and then drill a hole into the base of my mini because I'm going to put a pin in it. And here I have hot glue. I'm going to choose the clear for this particular project. You can buy a pack of them really cheap at your local craft store. So I'm going to get my glue gun and use it on low and get my clear glue and get some parchment paper, not wax paper because it doesn't work as well. Grab a little rock and one side of it and kind of scoop into the glue. Hold it there for a few seconds, especially if you're near a fan, this will go really quick. I'll kind of feel it starting to harden and that's when I let go and my rock is then suspended in midair. As you can see here, I have my first blast rock. Now there's a little tail there, I'm just gonna take that off. This is a second way that you can do it. It's a little bit easier. You just put your rocks right onto the parchment paper and then put some glue on it and make a little base. Let it dry. It dries just in less than a minute. It dries really fast and it just peels off really easy too. I made a bunch of them. I'm going to pick the ones that I like the best and trim down the bases of each one. Next I'm going to use just a little dab of super glue on the bottom of each one of the rock blasts and place them where I want them, which I want them all toward the back, like this. Next I'm going to make mud. For those of you that have seen my mud video, you know how I do this. In this particular video I'm going to be using light modeling paste instead of my usual spackle. And instead of adding glue, I'm going to add just the, the dark color brown that I want my mud. So that's going to be my dark brown mud. This is going to be my medium color mud. And this is going to be my light color mud. Now for this you can just use one color mud. But for this demo I'm going to use three different shades. Now I'm going to add a little bit of sand to give my mud some texture and mix it up real good. My first layer is going to be the dark layer of mud and I'm going to cover the entire base with it. Next I'm going to be adding the medium brown to just the middle section. Make sure when you are adding the mud that you get inside or excuse me get in between all those hot glue rocks. That way they're covered nicely. And now this is the medium mud and I'm going to do it just in the middle and I'm going to take the light mud and cover the entire base with the light mud. Let this dry for probably a good 2-3 hours depending on what type of weather you're in and scrape up anything on the edges. And now I'm going to take my hobby knife and dig for those rocks. So I'm kind of like excavating. <laughs> and I'm looking for those rocks that I originally glued down and get those so that they're showing through the mud. And then I'm going to be making um, lines in between each of the hot glue rocks. To give my base sort of that air blast effect, I'm going to now dry brush it with a very light tan and this sort of gives it the air effect that I'm wanting. Now what's cool about this effect is instead of doing air, for instance, if you want to do fire, you could paint the hot glue or dry brush the hot glue red and yellow with some black on the edges to make it look like fire. You can make it look like lightning by dry brushing some blue. So this effect has a lot of different uses if you think outside the box. So now I'm just dry brushing the edges, a little bit lighter color, give it some texture. Now I'm drilling the hole so I can pin my miniature. Of course I'm going to clean up the edge of my base with black and put a little bit of super glue on the pin of my miniature now that he's painted and just glue him in, put a little bit of glue on the bottom as well to make sure he stays in place and he's blasted. 
This is actually a really neat effect to make explosions on a table, uh, terrain, even on a vehicle, on the side of a vehicle, you can have it like it's exploding. So think outside the box guys and have a blast. Did that blow you away? Leave comments. See you next time, guys. Thank you.